This is the intro jingle. This is the K-Pop Tebok Show with Eric Nam. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the K-Pop Tebok Show. Today we have two incredible guests with us. Uh, before we get into it, please go ahead, rate, subscribe, leave us a comment, like, whatever. All over our socials, you know where you can find us at the Dive Studios. And uh, yeah, today we have two guests. We have the, le- the legend, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. J. Ooh. Park and DJ Wagon. What's up? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. What's good? What's good? <laughs> K-pop Debak. When you oh. think of K-pop and Debak, you can't leave out J. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Word. I'm just playing. All right. So today's episode, we're going to go in between Korean and English. And so if you guys want to see this uninterrupted, you can go to youtube.com slash dive studios or dive pods for the full episode. Otherwise, you could think of this as a great Korean and English exchange where you can practice your linguistic skills. So yes, let's just get into it. All right. Mr. J Park, could you yes, say sir. hello to all of our listeners? Uh what's good, everybody? This is J Park. Uh it's, it's my first time on the show. Both of our first times on the show. Yeah. You know, uh yeah, it's so yeah, I'm I'm excited for today. Um, thank you for having us on the show. Shout out to you and uh, Dive Studios. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 uh, kind of at the forefront of the game. He's smiling on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> 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 At that t- at that point in time, I didn't I wasn't too familiar with the hip hop scene in Korea. Mm. My only kind of knowledge was what I seen on TV, right? Um, and also just Doki and the Quiet and Illuminate. Mm. That's it. So I I wasn't familiar with his background and and probably like why he was like who's this kid like why is he here like you know so it was it was one of those things and then it kind of uh, he came into AOMG with Simon Dominic mm. Hyung and uh, Ugly Duck and that's when we became kind of you know, because okay. now we're part of the same team, you right, know, so right, it's like, right. it's inevitable that we talk right. and, you know, right. get close, so. Awesome. Well, the two of you put together an EP that was just recently released. Yeah. How did that come about? I mean, you have so many artists on your label, your yeah. two labels. Um, but how did the two of you kind of put this project together and, and was there a particular reason behind it? Oh, uh, album is how to make the album? The album is… <laughs> 어 그래서 월드 투어 하면서 작업을 많이 하고 한국에 돌아와서 이, 이거를 완성시켰죠. 네. 이제 이걸 영어로 좀 얘기해 주세요. 자. <웃음> 아. <웃음> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just it's one of those things where it's just kind of like we were going on tour for like what five months, yeah. six months. So it's kind of like he was like, and he's not. He, I mean, he makes a lot of beats, but he's mm. not the type to like go out and you know and kind of like what what is it? Uh, sell himself and be like, yo, like, yo, uh, let's work, let's work, hey, bro, let's work. Like, he's not that type, like, to, like, PR himself, uh-huh. you know? He's kind of more reserved, like, more quiet. And so, with with us, it's like we're always together, you know, because he, he DJs for my shows. Right. So, basically, it's like, since we're going to be together, he's like, yo, like, you know, I have a lot of beats. I'm, I'm going to, you know, take the the equipment 
with me. Let's just record like at mm. the hotel. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And so at first it was just for fun. Yeah. And then, you know, we 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 started thinking about like um different features we could get. And mm. then, you know, of course everybody was like, thankfully, you know, everybody was like, oh yeah, let's do it. And then so everybody sent their verse and then we're just like, yo, it's just turning out good. And so we kind of just developed it from there and started like producing more, rewriting the verses, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then that's how it kind of came about. Nice. Hey, shout out to you for being in the Sexy Forever music video too, bro. <laughs> Appreciate that no, shit. No, uh, it's a pleasure. At first when he said, I was like, why the f*** is this guy in there? But Because I was like, I, I didn't know that you were close yeah. with John John. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, why is Eric in my video? What's going on? And then it turns out you guys know each other. From yeah, yeah, so yeah. That was, that was kind of dope. So, so John John, how do you know John John? Well, he's from Seattle. Yeah, yeah. But, so, but I mean, it's not like everybody in Seattle. No, of course, of course. But I mean, within, and this is what I found out recently because mm. I haven't been living in Seattle for what, fifteen years. Yeah. Um. But what I found out recently is that if you kind of get involved in the scene over there, um, hip hop scene or music scene in general, it's like very small. So everybody knows each other. Yeah, everybody knows. So I, all the people that I know in Seattle know him, mm. and vice versa. And so mm-hmm. that's we just kind of like linked okay. up like that. Yeah. Okay. How do you know him? So John John shot he shot I think two of my music videos. Oh wow! Um, but he became friends with my brother Eddie. Oh yeah, so yeah they yeah. played like soccer together. Yeah yeah. In oh. LA. And so that's how we got to know each other. And then he was like, "Yo, do you want to be in this video?" And I was like, "Are you sure Jay's okay with me being in this?" Why video? not, bro? And Shit. I think it was just like I don't think we'd ever like really met or had a conversation. No, for sure, yeah. And so I was like, I mean, if if he's cool and you're cool, like I'm down. I don't care. But like, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, you did like the little body wave. I was like, oh. <laughs> I think I was in Seattle. That yeah. was like my your tour, right? My tour, and he yeah. came backstage. He's like, just what was your shit. tour called? That, I think that was that was the honestly tour. Honestly, yeah. Oh, okay. So it was like two, Dope. two, three years ago. Dope. What was that? It's two like two years ago. ago. Yeah, two years yeah. ago. Uh, so that's what that was. But a question that I have always had for you, Jay, is you're so prolific. Mm-hmm. In many ways. I mean, not not just in terms of words and your lyrics and the music you put out, but yeah. also in terms of businesses and the different projects you take on. Yeah. But just strictly as a creative, you know? Yeah. How and where do you get all this inspiration from to write so many different songs and lyrics? Like, for me, there are times I'm just tapped out. Yeah. What, like, you… Not only do you have this EP, you just put out higher compilations no, for a sure. month or two ago too. I think I think the kind of I'm 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 definitely an artist or a creative as where I, you know, definitely come up with my own ideas and mm-hmm. in, in in music and visuals and stuff like that. But also I know that this is also a sense of how I make my living. Mm. So I have I have a business sense in this as well. I'm not mm. just so so strictly an artist where I don't think about, you know, business and numbers and stuff like that. So I have a good balance. Right, right. And so there's some songs where it's like, I just do it purely for the passion. Mm. Like our project, Everybody mm. Sucks. Like obviously, if you listen to the music, if you look at the visuals, it's not the most uh, fan-friendly. It's not the most mainstream yeah. kind of thing. But right? you know, it's, it's purely just a passion project. It's mm. like, yo, whoever do the food, if not, whatever. You know, like yeah. we just do it just because we want to do it. That's what we do. Um, but but some, some, some songs I, or some just, Features I do, mm. I do it purely just just to kind of help out the artist, mm-hmm. or just for the intent of like, okay, fans' perspective, like, what do they what do they want to hear? What do they want right. to hear from me? Of course, I try to keep it authentic and I try mm. to keep it true to myself, but also it's kind of like I have this sense where I can almost force it mm. without it seeing. Without it being forced, which right, is right, kind right, of right. a weird thing. I, I know what you mean. Like yeah. you have you say things that you know that people want to hear. Where you can justify that it's true to you, but it's not like it's not something that I you live I, and I die wanna, by. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. So, all right. Um, I guess for DJ Wagon, you know, 이제 그것도 궁금해요. 어떻게 음악을 처음 접하게 되셨고, 이 oh. 사실 DJ나 턴테이블 한다는 게 많은 사람들에게 어떻게 보면 거리감이 있는 약간 진짜 멋진 그 어려운 그런 걸 수도 있는데 어떻게 시작을 하셨는지가 좀 궁금합니다. 아 저는 이제 저보다 10살 많은 누나가 있는데 음. 어렸을 때부터 막 8살 때부터 그런 음악을 되게 많이 듣고 자라고 어떤 음악? 뭐 그런 뭐막 바비 브라운이나 뭐 한국은 뭐 듀스나 오. 어쨌든 막 저보다 이제 10살 많으면 이제 46살이란 말이에요 지금 그러니까 저랑 나, 나이 차 엄청 많이 나죠 아무튼 그래서 집에서 이제 그런 걸 많이 듣고 자라다가 한 12살, 13살부터 저도 이제 음반을 사서 모으기 시작했어요. 
음. 그래서 그때는 이제 카세트 테이블 많이 모아, 모았었고 네네. 근데 그거를 모으는 거 이상으로 뭔가 사람들한테 좀 들려주고 싶다 이런 생각을 되게 많이 했었고 음. 근데 그런 거 중에 제일 멋있는 게 뭐가 있지 보니까 턴 테이블 리스트라는 게 있더라고요 뭐 음. 예를 들면 DJ 섀도우나 뭐 DJ 큐버 믹스 마스 마이 뭐 이런 음반들을 들으면서 아 이걸 내가 이제 해야겠다 해가지고 열여섯 살 때부터 이제 했어요 턴 테이블이나 아. 이런 걸 구, 구하고 네네 also fun fact he uh, he dropped out of school <웃음> high school to okay. pursue this <웃음> so and this was like what like 15 years yeah. ago so it was like Pretty now radical. it's like, yeah, exactly. It's, it's pretty radical, extreme. So yeah. now it's kind of like, okay, yeah, since hip hop's popping, whatever you can make. But back then, it's like, like you said, super radical. Right. 그래서 그게 그럼 이제 학교도 이제 이제 졸업 안 하시고 그냥 음악을 이제 올인 하셨는데 부모님이나 주변에 계신 분들은 어떠셨어요 그 반응이? 아 물론 당연히 <웃음> <웃음> 당연히 엄청 안 좋아하죠. 안 좋아. 네. 근데 이제 그거는 어쩔 수 없고 근데 저도 이제 되게 고집이 셌고 네네. 음 그냥 일단 너무 하고 싶었으니까 그게. 네. 그래서 아 이건 무조건 해야겠다. 이제 그런 거였어. 그래서 막 집에서 쫓겨나거나 그런 건 없었어요? 아 그렇진 않았어요. 그러니까 아. 제가 그런 걸 했죠. 단식 투쟁 같이 했죠. 밥을 안 먹고 막안 사주니까. 왜냐면 <웃음> 내가 살 수가 없으니까 너무 비싸니까. 네. 그래서 oh 이제. 그 그러면 이제 약간 뭐 모르겠어요. 턴 테이블리스트로서 약간 제일 좀뭐 데뷔 뭐 아이돌이라고 하면은 뭐 데뷔 무대가 있고 뭐첫 방송 공연 그런 것들이 있는데 그 기억에 남는 진짜 아나좀 이제 음. 좀 제대로 할수 있을 것 같다 그런 포인트가 있었나요? 아 제가 막 열일곱 살 때부터 그때는 라이브 클럽이 되게 많았어요. 춤추는 클럽 말고 네. 이제 공연하는 매주 공연하는 아. 클럽이 많았었는데. 17살 때부터 이제 그런 클럽에 가서 공연을 하고 아마 18살 때쯤에 그때 당시 홍대에서 유명했던 이제 막 슬러거라는 클럽이 있어요. 슬러거. 지금은 이제 뭐, 뭐 MC 스나이퍼 형이나 뭐 네. 배치기 형들이나 뭐 아웃사이더 형이나 이제 그런 분들이 나온 출신의 클럽인데 오. 이제 거기에 오디션에 합격을 해가지고 이제 매주 공연을 하게 됐어요. 18부터. 그래서 아 이제 내가 이렇게 살수 있겠다라는 생각이 좀 들었던 것 같아요. 완전 밑에서 약간 계속 이렇게 차근차근 쌓아오셨네요. Started 진짜. from the bottom, now we here. <웃음> yeah, for real. <웃음> 어 그러면 이제 DJ 웨건이라는 그 이름에 대해서 좀 여쭤봐도 될까요? 어떻게 아 이제 그 힙합에서 턴테이블을 이제 칭할 때 휠 오브 스테일스라는 말을 써요. 그러니까 이제 철로 된 바퀴라고 아 이제 부르는데 그런 거에서 아이디어를 얻었어요. 그래서 아 어, 턴테이블 리즘을 하겠다 더. 많이 하겠다. 네. 좀 이런 의미로. 왜 건? 이런 거 아니었어요? 그거 아니에요. 아, 나도, 나도 그런 줄 알았어요. 왜 건? 이렇게. 오케이. 됐어. 좋고. 알겠습니다. 음, that's cool. I mean, Jay, let's talk about I me. Mean, you coming up as well. Like obviously you kind of play in a lot of different genres. Yeah, no for sure. Um, but who were some of your bigger influences growing up and not only just musically, you were also Really into b-boy and dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that more of how you got started? Uh, yeah. I mean, of course. You know, I feel like everybody. It's like it's inevitable to not be to not listen to music because mm. it's like there's radio. It's on right. TV. It's like you know, it's, it's just everywhere. a part of everybody's lives. It's mm. inevitable. So it's like for me, of course, being young, I grew up what kind of, you know, listening to Michael Jackson mm. or Whitney Houston or you know, I I got introduced. To hip hop through my cousin in like second grade, mm. um, and so like Warren G, like Tupac, Mace, Usher, all all those guys, and so I just fell in love with it. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's it was so appealing to me, seemed so cool. So, um, and then you know, kind of as I got older, um, of course, you know, there's always been b boys, there's always been you know break dancers, uh, and so it's like I would look at it and just be like, oh, cool, like should I start it? And so I started in my living room, mm. just like for fun, just kind of as a secret. You know, I would always dance and kind of like, you know, try to imitate um, Usher or like Michael Jackson or Genuine. Um, and then once I started kind of getting into like the, the street dancing scene, I got really into it. I started looking at all the clips like B-Boy K-Mel, like B-Boy Crumbs. Mm. Um, and then I just kind of started going to like, I joined hip hop club and then I started going to like practice spots like mm. the local YMCA, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And then I started entering battles. Like I joined a crew, Art of Movement. Uh, and then, yeah, I just kind of fell in love with it. And then ever since then, it's just kind of been a huge… I mean, it, it's kind of funny, but I, I really 
owe everything to hip hop. Mm. To be honest. And and that's why I don't take this lightly. Yeah. I don't have a backup plan. I can't just be like, all right, I'll just now I'll just go back and, you know, uh, you know, uh rely on my I don't have a degree. I don't Whatever, have yeah, 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 I don't have any experience in any other yeah. field. So it's just like it's either this or nothing. So and I met all my friends the even even when the, how I got casted is because of hip hop, is because mm-hmm. I break dances, because I rapped. Yeah. And so yeah, that's why I I don't take this culture and what I do um, for granted. And that's why I always try to be authentic mm-hmm. and be true to it and uh, always give back as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you're you're one of the… When you say giving back… Yeah. Just looking at the amount of artists that you foster and you help nurture and bring up. I yeah. think that's probably like… One of the best and biggest ways that you have been given back. So, sure. you know, let's… I, I want to ask you a little bit about both AOMG and Hire. You're… Founder and co-CEO? Or like how does that work well, exactly? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I founded both labels. Right. Um, and then I am… Yeah, co-CEO of AMG and Higher Music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean… Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> no, for sure. I mean… You know, it, with, with… It's like… With me… I don't always… I don't ever take on anything that I feel like I can't mm-hmm. take on. Mm-hmm. You know? I, I, I make sure that I… I have the right people around me that I have the right knowledge and the and that I have the funds mm-hmm. and the kind of influence and power mm-hmm. to bring somebody else up or whatever. Right. I make sure that you know everything is kind of uh, set up mm-hmm. so that it's destined for success. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And so um, it's it's of course it's from the heart as well. But mm-hmm. I only move when I I know for sure that mm-hmm. everything's going to be a success. Yeah. And so yeah, and with AOMG and Hire, it's kind of like yeah. That's, that's what I did. And we kind of… Like you said, like we started very small with mm-hmm. like four employees. Now we have 40. I still remember… I don't think I, I had ever met you at this point. But I had… Uh, I think one or two people from my former label go to AOMG when you guys were first starting out. So you guys had an office on like the second floor somewhere in Apujang, Rodeo. Yeah, yeah. And that's when you guys had just heard and I met Gray for the first time. A couple people did come over. Yeah. And sure. just to, even from there, thinking about how far and how much you guys have grown in the past, I don't know, what, a couple years. Well, it's been… So it's been seven years since AMG yeah. started. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, but I guess the, the question… I have another question. is like, you know, it's it's a decision to make a label or to go out and do things on your own. Oh, right? Sure. You've had companies before. You've had labels and… Uh, that I was a part of. Yeah. That you, yeah. you, you were a part of before… What was like the defining moment or like a big factor in saying, you know what, let's just do it on my own? Uh, I mean, well, just because it's, I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I just felt like there wasn't anywhere that suited me. Mm. You know, even the the reason why I work with Cha Cha is because I I didn't I couldn't find any. Mm-hmm. Of course, I mean, just just because of my name and my notoriety, a lot of people wanted to work with me. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean that. Just because they write hits for everybody else mm. doesn't mean that they can write a hit for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like I want to work with people where I feel comfortable with. I feel like we can make a good product. Mm-hmm. And so that's not always going to be the most popping people. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people at that time around me didn't understand that. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, why don't you… Why are you working with this person? Or why Why don't you work with this person? Why don't you work with it? They have all these hits. It's like… Mm-hmm. So? It's like I, I want to do shit that I… Feel proud of that I want to do. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. that's right. that's gonna come off to people. If I if I do shit that's I feel uncomfortable doing, it's gonna come off to people. Right. Like they're gonna feel that energy. And so I feel like just me moving on instinct and me kind of, of course, being calculated, but also following my heart, mm-hmm. which is kind of corny, but that's what I did. Following my heart. Uh, it, ultimately, everybody saw the vision, even though it took a few years, mm-hmm. and it turned out much better than anybody ever expected. Yeah, I mean, I think you know. You and AOMG and Hire, they, you guys have really created, really fostered a market that was really budding at the time when yeah. you guys started. And you guys have grown it into like a big… Like a movement. No, in for many sure. Ways. Yeah. I mean… You know, because with this, it's like… We don't want it to be just a trend mm-hmm. or just a thing people use to look cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like there's a lot of… And it's it's funny because I was a idol too for a year. But it's right. like, you know, there's a lot of people that are like… Use elements of… The hip hop culture for authenticity and to look cool. Mm-hmm. They'll get someone like a Doki or a, a or production from DJ Wagon mm-hmm. to kind of look like they're part of the scene, right. but in actuality, they're not. They're not really. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. And so, yeah, it's like for us, we want this to be a a industry. Mm-hmm. We want to create it so that 
uh, it's just as big as K-pop or whatever other industry there is. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I want to keep on doing this until I'm old. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, we're trying to make sure that that path is paved. Right, 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 right. I mean, while we're talking about kind of just the industry, I guess a question for both of you is where do you guys think the hip-hop R&B scene is right now in Korea? And where can it grow or what can it do better? Because um, I feel like it's… It has… Everything has trends. It ebbs and flows. It goes up and down. But where are we right now in 2020, 2021? I I I I I I 뭐 쇼미더머니의 영향이 또큰것 같고 네. 지금은 사실은 트로트가 더 인기가 많은 것 같고 아, 그쵸. 뭐 어쩔 수 없죠. 근데 이제 어쨌든 그런 매체나 그런 거에 이제 더 한국 사람들은 많이 움직이고 이 음. 뭐라 해야 되지? 유행? 아, 네. 유행에 민감하니까. 근데 어, 아무튼 언젠가는 힙합이 이제 인기가 아닐 수도 있죠. 네. 언젠가는 밴드 음악이나 어쿠스틱이 유행할 수도 있죠. 그쵸. 그때는 이제 뭐 그런 또 뭐. 밴드 컴피티션이 생길 수도 있고 뭐 아무튼 근데 이제 뭐 우리가 만약에 뭐 그냥 예를 들면은 그냥 인기를 얻기 위한 음악들 힙합 음악들 그냥 신나는 음악들이라든지 뭐 되게 감정적인 음악들이라든지 어쨌든 뭔가 진실성이 없는 음악들을 한다면은 그때 가서는 계속 그게 롱런을 할수 없을 것 같아요. 음, 음, 음. 그래서 이제 저나 재범이도 재범이도 뭐잘 알고 있지만. 우리가 할수 있는 음악들을 계속 하고 있어야 되고 뭐 나중에 이게 힙합이 유행이 아니고 우리를 찾아주는 사람이 없더라도 이거를 지키고 가지고 있어야 되는 게 조금 중요하지 않을까. 음. Yeah. yeah. And also just to add on to what he said, it's like yeah, of course, you know, it's not like we are not aware of what people like and stuff mm. like that. And so of course we try to cater to it to a certain point. Yeah. Um, but we never. Do something that we feel like it's we're not proud of. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what the, our homework. I, I think mm. I, I feel like it's our homework to kind of keep that balance, yeah. where it's like, you know, we still are true to the culture and we keep the 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 pure elements of the culture alive while get gaining mainstream kind of appeal and attention mm -hmm. as well. So it's like that's always our homework that we have to do. Where it's yeah. like we have to keep a good balance. You yeah. know, because if we like. Like, you know, people say clout chasers or whatever. Like, if we only kind of do shit for the clout, it's, mm -hmm. it's not going to go for a long time. And right. people are going to get the wrong idea of what hip-hop really mm -hmm. is. So, I mean, I, I, I think that's completely understandable. And, and I'm excited to see how you guys keep doing that in the future. I guess… We might fail. You know what? <laughs> Even if you fail… Eric, we might fail. People will learn. People, no, for sure. You know, for sure. I think one thing for sure is that people look to you. you they look at AOMG, hire… and. Uh, for someone to like kind of point to and kind of chase after, right? Oh, yeah, Look yeah, after, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kind of like a role model. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I guess like the next part of the conversation that I kind of want to talk about is, you know, I'm sure DJ Wagon Nimdo, you've been in this industry for what, like 20 years now, almost. Wow. For you, you've been doing this like for 12 years. 12 years. Not 20, but 12 years. <laughs> So I think it's like in that time span, take it up down in do is a manus or sukor. I was thinking about it. I'm a common so I'm a common so. So I can say, Jom, Hashimans or Jom, Jay, or Jop, him draws on Shikiko on John and Jay, who will take a book, Hashan and Jigajum. When you, Madame Bundurin, I can go to John Ebush Podo, Yongi of Sudiko, Tudor Sudiko, and Kubundri Chajuro Bunuatrago. 아 아무래도 처음 시작하고 제가 열 여섯 열 다섯부터 시작을 했는데 어막 처음으로 돈을 막 벌어보고 한 거는 한 스물셋 스물넷 아, 네. 음악으로 근데 이제 그때까지가 제일 힘들죠. 아, 근데 많은 돈이 아니고 아, 정말 막 진짜 진짜 이제 어, 진짜 막 수익이 나어막 오만 원 십만 원 네, 돈이라도 네. 벌어본 게그 정도 나이였던 걸로 기억을 하는데 네. 그때까지가 가장 힘들죠. 왜냐면 음. 일단은 주변 사람들, 가족이나 뭐 친척들이 일단은 인정을 안 해주니까 음. 근데 그때까지 어떻게 버티냐 음. 인것 같아요. 근데 이제 그게 좀 자신과의 싸움이죠. 
나를 믿고 계속 음악을 할지 말지를 빨리 선택해야 될 수도 있고 네, 네, 네. 아니면 계속 밀고 나가야 될 수도 있고 네. okay. Self-confidence is very, very important Yeah Not to be incompetent, but self-confidence <laughs> Self-confidence Yes, yeah, very important, important. Um, I guess, Jay, for you, I mean, you've had If you don't mind me saying, you've had a lot of different things come up in your career No, for sure Right? Just, you know, you've had such a decorated career as well Yeah Like a lot of achievements Yeah A lot of incredible awards and uh, recognition. But I'm sure there's also a lot of things that you went through that a lot of us don't even know about, right? But like yeah. what… How do you keep going? How do you keep building? And uh, I mean, you know, for me, I, I kind of… I always look at the big picture. Mm. You know, I don't know exactly what the big picture is. Mm. But I, you know, I, I always know that there's more. Mm. You know, so it's like… I don't let one specific event mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever it may be. I, I don't let it define me. Mm. And then also like I don't get satisfied with it either. Yeah. Um, whether it be… If it's like a, something good like an achievement or whatever it may be. I'm like, oh my god. Okay, now I can just do nothing. Yeah. No, I, I always kind of strive for more. And it, if something bad happens, it's like… I, you know, it's, I just feel like, you know, it's just a little uh, learning experience or a little kind of, let's say, hurdle mm -hmm. uh, that is going to be… There's going to be many more. You right, know, right, I, always, right, right. I always know there's going to be many more. But I always know that I could get… Jump over the hurdle. Mm. Because I have been thus far. And so like I have that self-confidence in myself where it's like I don't get discouraged or I don't kind of just give up. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. so that's, uh, it's, it's like that self-belief just kind of keeps me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, thank you for doing what you do. I, I told you this when we first had like a real conversation. No, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, you, it hasn't been that long. It, it hasn't this been, year. Like we yeah. haven't really… We've only recently had a few conversations yeah, for sure. and, and had a few drinks. Yeah. But um, I think there are a lot of people who look up to you as an Asian or Asian American that makes moves in ways that are different. No, and that sure, move yeah. the culture and the people forward. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think it's incredible. And, appreciate that. Appreciate uh, the acknowledgement. I just hope you just keep doing that. Because even for me, like I have a lot of people who are like, hey, thanks for doing what you do. No, for sure. You know, with your type of music or whatever. And I, I think we play in different musical styles, but we have the same vision and the same dream and the goal. Yeah. And it's it's good to have… Maybe like the same mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which I, you know, really, really respect about For you. sure. Appreciate it. Likewise. Um, where do you guys see yourselves, you know, in the next five years, ten years? You know, as a musician or as a person? Like, where do you hope to be? What are you hoping to do? Hope to be right over there. Just I'm right over there? Like, just with us. I mean, just chill uh, with us. Um… 한 5년, 5년, 10년, 10년 후에 뭐, 뭐 아, 그 형이 어디 어디 있을 거야? 난 형이 집에 있을 것 같은데. 집에 있겠죠. <웃음> 네. 근데 뭐 어쨌든 지, 집에 잘안 나오세요? 예, 네. 사실 그게 뭐 스케줄이 없으면 거의 집에 있는데. <웃음> 아 사실 이제 사람마다 다르죠. 재범이는 어, 계속 뭔가 다른 비즈니스를 만들고 부딪히고 이것도 해보고 저것도 해보고 하는 사람도 있지만은 저는 개인적인 성향은 그냥 하나를 계속 하는 사람이라서. 네. 아마 5년, 10년 후에도 그냥 음악을 하고 있을 것 같고 음. DJ를 하고 있을 것 같고 어쨌든 이 어떤 공간 안에서 움직이고 네. 있지 않을까 막 갑자기 뭐 치킨을 판다거나 <웃음> 전혀 뭐 이런 건 없을 것 같고 DJ 치킨 그러니까. DJ 치킨 네. DJ 뭐 햄버거 하시잖아요 샤라스 어, <웃음> 뭐. <웃음> 페이미스 버거 소주도 이제 준비하고 소주도 있고 소주도 하려고 아. 하고 있고 오케이 오케이 You know, uh, yeah man, just try to, you know I mean of course, you know, within the hip hop community over in the States, you know, they, they do a lot of, they break off into a lot of different things. Because, you know, you know, hip hop is very influential. You know, mm -hmm. what, what we do is very, it's in, influential. Like, I, I feel like the culture is like the tastemakers for what's cool. Right. And so uh, even all the pop people, they take elements of that mm -hmm. and they kind of recreate it into a more kind of, a, let's say, a consumer friendly taste. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I feel like, you know, just like I'm trying to, you know, kind of learn from those moves and kind of just be an entrepreneur and, mm. and I, I know the value of my worth and my brand. Mm. And so I don't want to sell myself short and just give that to any right. brand just for like, a, you know, a they say Congo money or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather invest that into building my own shit mm -hmm. if I feel like I can or if mm -hmm. I have the passion for it. Right, right. And right. so that's what I've kind of been doing. Okay, that's cool. You know, you both of you have worked with so many different artists. Is there anybody that you guys are looking forward to working with or anyone you would like to work with? Yeah, I'm going to 
어쨌든 두 가지 정도는 있고 앞으로도 뭐 계속 열심히 해야 되는데 뭐 약간 좀 신인들이랑 좀 많이 해보고 싶어요. 음. 그러니까 좀 신선한 친구들. 네네네네. 오케이. 형이 마, 이제 이번 우리 색깔, 그러니까 저번에 밴 웨겐 이펙트랑 이번 우리 에브리바디 삭스랑 색깔이 되게 다르잖아. 그쵸. 그래서 이 다음 거는 뭐 어떤 색깔로 좀 아, 아예 다른 색깔 아니면 또 생각을 하고 있어요. 아. 근데 이제 음 그냥 개인적인 욕심으로는 이제 뭐 예를 들면 밴드 웨건이 1집이었다면 음흠. 이 다음 앨범, 이 다음 앨범 계속 뭔가 진화가 있어야 된다고 생각은 음. 하기 때문에 음. 아마 똑같지는 않아야 된다. 음. 그럼 어. 그 앨범이랑 치킨을 같이 팔면 되겠네. 패키지로. 예. 네. 예, 네, 괜찮을 것 같아요. <웃음> Chicken DJ deal. I'd buy it. I'd buy it. I, but I want to. I want to ask about that. Everybody sucks. Like, where does that title and what is that album? Is there a big story behind the entire album or like? Um, no. Theme? I mean, just no. Everybody sucks. Facts. Uh, true. Okay. No. Um, no. It's like a, it's one of those things where it's kind of like, of course, you know, w- just with the the kind of the things I'm saying, I'm just kind of like. Uh, It's not really that I'm 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 criticizing or critiquing how yeah. people. Like, I, I'm just kind of saying nobody's perfect, mm. even myself. Nobody's perfect, and everybody has imperfections right. um, and flaws. And so, in that way, everybody does suck because mm-hmm. you know there's a lot of ugly things going on in this world. Right. And so it's kind of like you see that in the news all the time. You see all these kind of very ugly sides of people and what fear and kind of uh, lack of education mm-hmm. or lack of knowledge in certain. Uh, things like I, I guess you could say ignorance brings out in people, and so that brings out a very ugly side of people. So also that as well as kind of everybody sucks, and then also just I just, I just feel like you know there's I, I these days musically I'm not getting a lot of inspiration mm. like you know back in the day or I don't want to say back in the day but just like even a few years ago I'd be I'd see something or hear something I'd be like yo this is dope like, yeah. That this inspires me to go to the studio and to do some shit or to shoot a music video mm-hmm. or to go hard. But these days it's kind of like I don't know if. It's, I suck, or everybody else sucks, but I just don't get a lot of inspiration. You know, we all just suck. Facts it might just be what it is. Pause. No, I'm just playing. Dang, you laughed yeah. a little too loud right there. <laughs> <laughs> One last question, I guess, about life and whatever before we go on to some really light stuff. But Jay, I mean, I, I've seen and I've heard you talk briefly about retirement. You mention it here and there once yeah. in a while. Yeah, and then everybody just asks about it. So now I just have to mention it everywhere I go. I know. And we're going we're gonna to do it right here too. Are you retire right now? Okay. I want to announce. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you know, like what is the, the thing? I, I know where you're coming from. Yeah. I think a lot of people, even still, when I'm just scrolling the internet, they're like there's an issue. Like, or this is like a talking point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, for those… People who haven't gotten the update, like what do you, what do you mean by that, and like what are you thinking there? 형은 은퇴 안 하겠네요, 형은. 은퇴요? 네. 저는 안 하죠. 나는 하는 게 맞, 맞겠죠. 옆에서 많이 부추기고 있죠 요즘. 뭐요? 은퇴. 형, 형이 은퇴하라고. 아, 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 사람들이. 은퇴하라고? 아 이제 아 하지 말라고. 저, 저 오빠 하지 마세요 하는 게 조금 이제 더 그렇게 들릴 수 있, 있는 거지 너한테. 아. 음. I mean, so for me, I definitely, you know, I feel like I really gave my all uh, to this craft and yeah. to this culture. Um, and and so it's kind of like, and I was very selfless. Mm. Um, of course, you know, I never made stupid decisions where it's like, I'm doing anything that's going to um, take away from, from what I do and my brand and my image and my values. But I was very selfless and, you know, kind of just, Uh, sharing what I've built, yeah. uh, very kind of selflessly, whether they're AOMG or higher mm. music or not, other artists, wherever. Like if they're like, yo, you know, can you know, let's, let me, can we get a feature, or whatever? Like I wouldn't be uh, hesitant to reply or, or to follow back or to you know right. send the verse if I respect what they do. Right, right, right. Um, and so I feel like you know it's like before I get too burnt out and really kind of just start falling off, mm. where it's like, yo, this shit is whack. It's like. <laughs> I, I want to retire. And uh-huh. also, I feel like, you know, what I do, it doesn't get the the proper acknowledgement. I mean, of course, you know, there's a lot of people that acknowledge me right. and appreciate me. I, I, I appreciate that. I'm very honored uh, that they're inspired by me or that they give me those that acknowledgement. Mm-hmm. But as, as, as far as like just kind of the rest of the people, a lot of people that kind of hate on me or just kind of like downplay what I've done. Mm-hmm. So it's like… Uh, since I did give my all, I, I I feel like if I do retire, I won't have any regrets because mm. I gave my all. Like, what do yeah. I have? Yeah, 
I mean, you've done so much. And I think there's still so much that you can and will do. So, no, for sure. Um, but it's like, am I willing to put in the effort? And I, that was, right. you know, I, I thus far, I've had that energy and that passion. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's, it's, that bar is kind of, you know. Yeah. Uh, and so. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Facts. I know exactly what you're talking about. Anyways. All right. Well, hopefully we have a lot more coming from the both of you. Uh, for for many years to mm-hmm. come, what are you guys listening to these days? Any any recommendations for our listeners? Everybody sucks. Yeah, everybody sucks. Of course. 모두 떠라. 아 최근에 V Stick 콜린스 나왔어요. 아 그거 진짜 좋아요. 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 그런 건 아니야. <웃음> <웃음> um, I don't. To be honest, I don't really listen to music. No. <웃음> yeah. I, I. To be completely, I, I. I haven't been like you know before. Like maybe even a couple years ago last year, I would. Some came out. I would kind of check it out. I'd be like, oh shit! Like who so and so came out? Well, let me check it out. Mm. These days, it's like I don't really listen to music. Mm. Um, what are you listening to, or what are you watching, or what are you? I mean, consuming. I consume. I, I mean, to be honest, I, you know, I, I consume like a lot of exercise videos, like MMA videos, <laughs> UFC videos, uh-huh. like podcasts, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and, and just music-wise, I, I did listen to an album recently, uh-huh. um, Amine's new album. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is very dope. Very, very dope. Yeah. And then, and, and you know, uh, recently, um, when we did our Halloween party, mm. uh, the streaming thing, you know, like… I saw Soko Domo and Omega Sapien and stuff like that. And the younger cats, they came and performed. Mm. And you're just watching them perform kind of inspired me as well. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like uh, to see that the younger dudes that are dope. Like, recently, we, the higher music members, we met up with uh, Lil, uh, Lil Naughty, Big Naughty and uh, Trey Doe. Mm. We listened to like the stuff they're working on. And it's like, oh, dude, these guys are like 17, 18. They're dope. You know? They're so young. Yeah, they're what dope. The like, they're way doper than me when I was 17. 18. <laughs> so like, that kind of shit like inspired us. Like, wow, yeah. like… I wonder what how they're gonna be in five years or yeah. ten years, you know? Yeah. So that type of shit kind of inspires me, but I don't really like. Oh my god, I'm gonna put on some whatever yeah. to relax or to feel better. I don't really do that. Okay. Yeah. What what podcast have you listening to? You mentioned podcast. The K-pop oh, Devop show. Obviously, what you're else? Listening. <laughs> obviously, yeah. you're listening to no, the. Uh, <laughs> maybe some like uh, Joe Rogan. Okay. Or okay. Like, uh, uh, like I'll I'll listen to like the Joe Budden podcast every yeah. once in a while. Uh, we have just a few questions from fans for you guys. Uh, I have, here's one from LM Kim in New York. Uh, if you guys ever want to ask a question, you guys can text us at 310-564-1030. There we go. The question is, I've been a fan for almost a decade and I've seen you create so many types of music with different artists. Is there a particular album or collaboration that means the most to you or that you've enjoyed working on the most? Except for, yeah. of course. Yeah, everybody sucks. Everybody sucks. Um, uh yeah, I mean I feel like the the definitely the everything you wanted album did a lot for me. The R and B album, we, it got multiple awards. You know there was kind of multiple uh, like hit songs or whatever on there. Um and I felt like you know just I feel like my bread and butter and kind of even though I'm not the greatest singer, like what I f- like listening to is like the more R and B, mm. pop, dance, that type of stuff. And I felt like that represented me very well as an artist. Mm-hmm. As an artist, I feel like the rap stuff is more kind of you can see, take a look into my like how I think and my mm-hmm. mentality and my mindset. But then the R and B stuff is like h- how I want to be perceived as an artist. Mm. You know, the rap stuff is how I want people to look at me as a person. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit different. That's very interesting. Yeah. You know, one thing that I've always had a like a top top here, like something that I've wanted to like figure out is yeah. I feel like if sometimes I wish I could rap. Yeah. Because I could be a lot more direct with my words. No, for sure. And I envy people who can just say whatever they no, want. No, for sure. I mean, because like if you have like a some type of frustration or you want to say some shit about society or whatever. You mm. can't like s- s- sing it in a very soft, <laughs> yeah. like sexy ass voice. Right. You know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, we can't, we can't, yeah, we can't sing it that way. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Um, how do you, how do you actually balance what you really got in your head, what you want to say, be it about society or world or culture or whatever? You know, there's a fine line that we have to walk as artists or as public figures. Oh, for sure. I, I make sure that it's, uh, I'm not… Because everybody is titled to their own opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has they, their perspective and what, you know, what they've been through. You know, like a drooping mic. 
mm-hmm. or, you know, whatever it may be. Everybody has <laughs> their situation, you know? And so I, I try to be very open and understanding about those type of things. But yeah. there's some things where it's kind of like, I don't understand yeah. the mindset or where yeah. they're coming from. And so those type of things, I'll speak on it. Yeah. Um, if I feel like it's it's wrong or if it's like, if it's just not helpful to the world at all, to mm. anybody, mm. if they're just trying to bring people down, what's the point? Right. Use that time to uplift yourself or uplift people around you or right. be productive. Mm. You know, do some, you know, tell your mom that you love her one more time or whatever it may mm-hmm. be. You know, because the time on this earth is not, it's not forever. So, I mean, I feel like a lot of people take that for granted. Mm. I feel like a lot of people think that tomorrow is certain or mm-hmm. some things is certain. Even like, shows or everybody's like, let's go back to like, I can't wait for it to go back to normal. What's normal? There's not, nothing is normal. Nothing is for certain. Right. So it's like, don't take these meetings or these conversations or anything for granted because tomorrow you never know what could happen. Right. You know, who, who would have thought in 2020, there'd be a <sighs> pandemic and you can't even travel anywhere. You can't even see your friends or whatever. Nobody. This might be the new normal forever. You never right. know. Yeah. That just got really sad, but very true. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, it's I, true. Bro, I mean, I'm very optimistic, but yeah. I'm also I'm also a realist. You know, mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't like to sugarcoat shit. You know, mm-hmm. I I hear you. On yeah. That. All right. Well, thank you for those very thoughtful responses. No, for sure. To these life changing questions, the hard questions that are asked here on the Tebox Show. Yeah. I feel like we should get a what's like a, an award for journalism. Um, the Peabody. We deserve a Peabody. And an sounds Emmy. Like, that sounds like a, a different award for like some fitness. Like <laughs> you've 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 won the Peabody the, Award. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Eric. Now you. you've won the Peabody Award. You've pumped the iron. Good job. Go go. Wait, why are you so good at that, dude? <laughs> You're so oddly good at that. I know. I've been practicing this since uh, high school. Okay, right, yeah. I'm glad it came into use here today. Right? Yeah. I I, I, I was hoping for a situation yeah. where I could just bring this up. I am the former governor of California. What are you doing right now? Eric, I'm a kill. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we wrap up these questions, we have like a little tiny game yeah. for you guys to okay. play. I mean, since it's the K-pop debak show, let's, yeah. let's talk about our favorite K-pop groups. Do you want to do that? Yeah, we can why do that. not? All right. I mean, I, I'm we'll sure that everybody that, that watches, I'm of course our fans, but there's a lot of fans that like K-pop. Hong Che K-pop group. Well, uh, 옛날 아니면 지금. 옛날이랑 지금. 둘다. 옛날? Yeah. 옛날 제일 좋아하시는 K-pop 그룹이 요즘은 당연히 BTS잖아요. 아 형이 좋아하는? 어 가장 많이 나오니까. 음. 어, 어, 어. 옛날엔. 아, 형뭐 만약에 옛날? 어렸을 때나 내가 고등학교 진짜 때, 아니 막 내, 내가 이 사람 봤는데 내가 막막 아, 춤을 따라 했거나 음. 옷을 뭐 따라 뭐, 입었거나. 아 진짜 옛날에는 막 HOT나 음. 막 잭스키스나. 음. 그 그러면 HOT예요, 잭스키스요? HOT요. 오. Okay. HOT 선배님들이 보고 아, 좋아하실 수도 그래서. 있겠다. 잭스 키스 형님들은 형 싫어할 수도 있겠다. 어쨌든 저는 이제 계신다. 마이크랑 같이 계속 밑으로 내려가고 있어요. 음. <웃음> 그럴 수도 <웃음> 있죠. 너도. <웃음> uh, Jay, how about you? Uh, I feel like my my favorite uh, group from back in the day. Yeah. I think it was probably G.O.D. Mm. Yeah. I think just because uh, the array of music that they had. Um, right. You know, not just dance, but like more kind of… Ballad. They had ballad stuff. They had stuff that's kind of more from the heart and and just different types of music. So I think back in the day, G.O.D. In terms of girl group, probably uh, S.E.S. Mm. Oh, S.E.S. over Pinker. Because I I saw them live. (laughs) Oh. I saw them live. And so I was like, oh my god. Like, who are these people? You know? And so, yeah. It was dope to me, you know? And then like… we bought their CD and everything like that. Where was where was this? Was this in This was in Korea. In Korea. Oh, okay. I, I think it was like Music Tank or some shit like that. Like <laughs> I was in middle school and my uh-huh. dad my dad took me. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh we came to visit my dad. My dad took me to like Music Music Tank or whatever it was and then we saw all these like that was my first time watching cuz I wasn't really into like Korean music yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like thing. I would listen to it in the car cuz my mom put it on mm. or you know. Um and then now uh I think I think the favorite kind of Boy group or boy band or whatever. What yeah. Uh, definitely Big Bang for sure. Big I Bang. Mean, yeah. They they like they inspired me a lot for sure because you know it's like I I saw their stuff and I was like oh shit like I want to do shit like that or I took a lot of inspiration from mm-hmm. them. Um and so definitely Big Bang and I could listen to their music without seeing the visuals. Mm. Just like oh this is a dope song. Right. Or, right. Like right, this right. rap is dope or like wow that like he sings very well or mm-hmm. like he. You know, so they're all very talented. Um, and then a girl group, of course, Blackpink. 
Blackpink. You know, like everybody loves Blackpink right now. They're <laughs> killing shit right now, bro. <laughs> Your favorite Blackpink song is. Uh uh. Hey. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Did you have a favorite G.O.D. song? Uh, Kojima? <gasps> I think so. Because uh, my mom used to listen to that song all the time in the car. Okay. So yeah, I think that song like… I, I that you know. And then shout outs to um, uh, Matthew. BM? Yeah, yeah. Yo. <laughs> Shout out to Matthew too. I, I appreciate how he he like… He's a very good dancer as well. I, 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 I've, I've, su- I've seen… Um, just because he shouted me out and stuff like that. Mm. I've seen Card mm. uh, music video. Yeah. And so… Um, yeah, he's very talented. So shout out to Matthew as well. He's probably crying as he watches or hears <laughs> this. He was uh, literally he's, here he's, yesterday. He's too big to cry. That's, no, no, uh, no. That'd be fucking. He will cry. Uh, does he? He was here yesterday, and I was, and he was like, "Yo, I got all this gear from AOMG," and I was like, "Yo," and he like posted all about it, and then I was like, "You know who's coming tomorrow?" I was like, "Who's like Jay?" He's like, Shh, "What? <laughs> I will be here." So if he busts through these doors, yeah. he, he, uh, I feel like he'd cry very like <laughs> macho. Like, <laughs> 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 give me that rock, wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> 되게 어 되게 유치한 게임이에요. 게임도 아니고 어 who is most likely to 그래서 J Park DJ Wagon 아 우리 분, 중에 네. 이거를 누가 어, 뭐, 더 해당되는지 아. 그런 거예요. 음 어, 누가 해당되는지. 누가 얘기해요? 아니 아, 서로 우리, 그러니까 같이 같이 김을 듣고 우리가 이제 네. 얘기를 해야 되는 거죠. 아. 뭐 예를 들어 뭐뭐 뭐 물을 지금 마실 것 같은 사람 네. 이렇게 어, 그래서 어. 어, 약간 아니 뭐 아니 뭐아 you know let's do it okay uh, who is most likely to be a heartbreaker? <laughs> no. <laughs> Eric, it's you, bro. Uh, I don't know, man. The, role, the body roles you're doing in Sexy Forever. I mean, that was… That's you definitely know, you. That made no, people um, cry. Who is like a woman who has a hurt? A bad woman. Who is the most bad woman? I mean, that's got to be me because obviously he's married. He has a kid. He's married. He has a kid. So like between the two of us, uh, okay. obviously it's, it's going to be me. It's got to be you. What? Uh, <laughs> 아들 딸? 아들. 아들 몇 아들. 살이에요? 아들 15개월. <웃음> 오. 두 살. That would be funny if he's like 15 살. I know. I'd be like, damn. 15 <웃음> Dang. Okay. He's very cute. His name is Town. He has an Instagram too. Really? It's called my dear son Town. Oh. He has more followers than him. Really? Oh. No, I'm just playing. <웃음> but he got a lot of followers though for sure. Okay. Yeah. 자, 한번 찾아볼게요. Oh. Uh, let's see. What are the fun ones? 마술사가 될것 같으면 사람은. I don't even 마술사. know. Who's a, who would be a magician? Uh, yeah, I know, 형이에요. 왜냐면 형은 약간 어쨌든 손, 손 손을 잘 쓰니까 뭔가 그이 이걸 이게 되게 중요해. 막 카드 할때 뭔가 이렇게 티안 나게 뭔가 근데 나는 그런 거. 거짓말을 많이 하니까. 아이. 아. 근데 그거는 약간 마술 아니고 사기를 잘칠것 같은 사람. 사기 잘 치겠지. 사기 칠 마음이 있으면. 근데 마술 잘할 것 같은 사람이 형. 뭐 내. 네, 사기 칠것 같은 사람 나. 아, 오케이 오케이 오케이. 아 명확하네요. 예. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. 웃으면 안 되는 상황에서 웃을 것 같은 사람. So who likely to laugh at the wrong uh, moment? 그건 형이야. 아 되게 약간 은근히 조용히 그냥 계셔가지고. 아 예. Yeah. 그러실까? 저는 I think that... 아 형이야. 이건 분명히 제가? 형이야. 제가요? 네. 저잘안 웃는데. 어, 잘 웃는데 약간 좀 웃으면 안될것 같은 상황에 웃을 거. 예를 들어 막 누가 막 싸우고 있어. 아. 약간 뭔가. 내가 이럴 것 같아. 그렇지. 뭐 어쩔 수 없지. 그러니까 <웃음> 어쩔 수 없죠, 진짜. 아 uh, 스카이다이빙 해보셨나요, 두 분? 아, 네, 그 스카이다이빙. 형 스카이다이빙 가능해요? 저는 할수 있어요. 아 어, 진짜요? 네, 저는 you 그런 know? 겁은 없어요. 번 네. 번지 점핑 해보셨어요? 그건 해봤어요. Have you done bungee jumping? No. <웃음> 절대 안. Are you crazy? <웃음> 왜, 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 왜? I I I kind I think I have a fear. I I don't even I didn't even like riding the plane. Really? Yeah, I was like afraid of riding the plane like uh, since high school. Roller coasters? No, I hate roller coasters. I hate <laughs> I hate theme parks. Oh, I man. hate all the children there. I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, no, yeah, I, I I I really don't like like shit where it's like, oh yeah, let's. We, it's a possibility of us dying. Why don't we do it? <laughs> oh, it's so fun. No, bro. No. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh. Two Bun Jung, who is likely to take the most time in the bathroom? 화장실에서 제일 오래 사용할 것 같은 사람. I think that's me. Yeah? yeah. Do you take a lot of time in the bathroom? I do. 
Uh, well, are we talking about like taking a shit? I mean, or, like, you could. It's open ended. Ready. Open ended. Oh, getting ready. I think both of us is like super quick. Like, oh, let's put on some <laughs> lotion. All right, done. Okay. Um, but in terms of like uh, just using the bathroom, yeah, using the bathroom, it'd probably be me. Take your time. Yeah. You got, I, do you need some fiber? Do you want some probiotics? I, no, or uh, like? dude. I ate prune juice like one time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't know that you're only supposed to take like half a cup. Uh, I took like a one cup before dinner and one cup after. I was like, <laughs> that shit works. Let me tell you that. Yo, that shit. Did you yo, sleep that night? Not very well, okay. but that shit works. Let me tell you that shit works. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, the question is who's likely to become friend, friends with a stranger? Oh, that's I, probably me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I I don't know how to meet a friend. I mean, just because you know, bef- back in the day before I started this line of work, mm. I was I was super shy. Like I didn't want to like oh like you know I was very kind of self aware mm. like or like self conscious mm-hmm. of what people might think or like yeah. what if I say this or what if I do this and they don't like it like. But now it's kind of like I, I I have to deal with so many different types of people all the time. It's right? Like, who cares? Mm. It's like hey, what's up? You. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things, you know. It's like I, don't, I just don't care anymore. There's so many people in the world. There's so many different conversations to be had. Why get hung up over one? Bro, you know? I like your mindset. I yeah. like the way you think. Facts. Um, <laughs> 형은 약간 좀 뭐라 그러지? 약간 나서서 하는 타입이 아니야. 좀 약간 if you look at like he said like two words this whole yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> MBTI 해보셨어요? Have you guys done like the MBTI thing? I have an Also that is yeah. like I know who I am. I don't need a f- test to tell me who the f- I am. Oh, okay. Oh, I I do this at night, all right? No, no I know who the f- I am. I don't need a test. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um I feel like I'm just like a f- like old man just like <laughs> Very just uh, what is it cr- jaded? What? Yeah, very jaded to the world. I, I feel like I'm like the Asian Bill Burr or something. But like you know that. what? Like, we need that. We need oh more of that. God. If there's anything that I feel like I've been I've been feeling recently in the yeah. past few months is like we need people who are just like yeah. Everything I'm saying is uh, really not in my heart. Eric texted me before like can you say <laughs> these things and he just texted me. I fed him all the yeah. lines. I was like all right, all right for you, bro. If you you know I'll give saying my you. bank account. Give me the thousand. <laughs> 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 no, but it's important. Like, I mean, I think Diane, the producer, and I, we were talking the other day. It's like, what other like, what other shows and what other people do we need to make these voices heard? Yeah, like, right, like just just even as Asian Americans. I mean, and also it's like you, you you might have a lot of guests on the show where it's like they have a voice, but they might not use it mm. because they feel you know they some topics are too sensitive from them them to speak on, right. or they're worried about what the company or fans or. Mm. Their peers or whoever might think, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I'm of, of course, you know, I'm not like a a like, I have a filter, you know. I, mm. I don't just say very disrespecting things. Like if I know it's going to be disrespectful, mm. but definitely I I do like to speak my mind, and I'm glad that I have the kind of freedom to do so. Mm. You know, uh, that's for me. That's very important. Mm. I'm just gonna keep texting you things that I want to no, say. No, for sure. Yeah, do that. If you just want to say I'll, them, I'll tweet it every once in a that'd while. That'd be great. You can. Yeah, I'll be like Eric said. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, well, with that, I think we're going to wrap up the show. Cool. Uh, first of all, thank you to both of you so much for coming. I want to thank you so much for coming. I want to thank you so much for coming. I want to thank you so much for coming. I want to thank you so much for coming. I want 그냥 아무것도 아무튼, 그냥 네. 지금 그냥, 지금 그냥 빡 떠오르는 초대해 주셔서 감사하고요. 네. <웃음> 감사합니다. 4분 53초 남았어요. <웃음> <웃음> 딱히 할 말이 없는데요. <웃음> <웃음> 알겠습니다. 아니, 그럼 이이 이 차례에 뭐 앨범이라도 한번 더 홍보해 주세요. 아, 뭐 어쨌든 저희 앨범 홍보 하고 싶어서 나온 거니까 예, 네, 저희 앨범 에브바리 스웍스 많이 사랑해 주시고 저희 뮤직비디오도 있고 라이브 클립도 지금 계속 공개가 되고 있어요. 이미 두개 공개됐고 하나 더 이제 공개될 거예요. 그래서 다 재밌게 봐주시면 고맙겠습니다. 그 타이틀곡 외에 제일 좀 좋아하시는 곡 아니면 사람들이 꼭 이거를 들어줬으면 하는 노래가 있나요? 어, 타이틀곡 외에 네, 네, 네. 저는 이제 그 Where Is My DJ라는 곡이 있어요. 음, 네, 네. 이제 그게 어떤 제 태그라인인데 네. 이번에 이제 만들었어요. 아... 이제 재범이가 하라고 해가지고 <웃음> 대표님이 시켜서 Yo, 뭐, I'm a branding marketing genius. 
<laughs> What's it? Everybody, all the producers need a tagline. They bro. do. Wagon is my DJ. That's, That's a dope. One. That's yeah. dope, bro. Who's your DJ? Wagon, Wagon is, is my, my DJ. DJ. Check your facts. You a genius. Facts. Um, all right. Well, you done with knowledge comes with Jay. Anything you want to say? Anything you want to plug? Anything you want to tell our listeners, your fans? Yeah. Uh, I mean, definitely. You know, thank you for everybody who supports us. Thank you for supporting. You know, me, AMG High Music. Um, shout out to you know you, Eric, and Dive Studios for having us. Uh, yeah, and, and you know, just be good to one another. You know, it's a you only have one life to live, so why spend it? Like, I, yeah, I, like I don't understand. Like, it's like if you support one group, like. And I'm I'm just saying this because it's the K-pop debug show. But if you support one group, you have to hate a different group mm. or whatever. It's like, bro, like it's not that it's not that serious. It's not support your people. And if you don't want to support this person, just don't. Just don't hate on them. Yeah, well, hate on them for what? <laughs> what do you? Don't hate on me either. Yeah. You no, know? you can hate on me. I don't care. I, obviously, <laughs> I don't give a f- hate on me. But a lot of a lot of other people they can't take it mentally. Yeah. You know, so you know, make sure you're you're good to them. You know, because they're people just like you. So mm. yeah. I feel like we need to have a follow up session where it's just like counseling or just like life advice from Jay Park. Me? Yeah. Where it's just like you know talking about Do the it. way you think and the way yeah. you process things because I'll be in this chair and they could just lay down on this yeah. chair and I'll just have like the the the, the glasses and like the notes. Yeah. And like, mm. We'll buy a, like yeah. a, a like a psychiatrist like chair. lay down thing. Yeah. And we'll, we'll make it happen. Sure. So, yeah, I go to school for my uh, degree. There you go. Yeah. There that's, you that's go. My next uh, chapter in life. Let's <laughs> there do it. There you go. Um, yeah, good point. Don't hate on people. You don't have to like everybody. Just don't hate. Yeah, for don't what? Actively hate on people. Don't waste your time. Use your time it. more productively. Yeah. You can't get time back. Amen. Money, everything else you can get back. You can make money. Mm. You can buy new clothes. You can buy a new mm-hmm. car. Not time. Health. Even, I mean, health. Kind of, you know, by eating good shit or yeah. going. But time, even right now, the how I'm saying this, five seconds, you can't get that back. And you <laughs> invested that to tell people the importance of exactly. that. Exactly. Jay Park is looking out for y'all. Love y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. Anyways, uh, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today on the K-Pop Box show. To all our listeners, please subscribe, rate, review. And uh, leave us a comment on like because it helps people find this great content with Jay and DJ Wagon. Uh, be sure to follow the socials. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> please wear a mask. Stay safe. Be nice to people. And we'll see you next week on the K-Pop Tebak Show. But before we go, can we make a request? Could yeah. the two of you improvise a quick outro jingle for us? Outro jingle? Um… Hey, this is the K Bob Daybox Show with Dive Studios and Eric Nam. Da da. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a good life. Make sure you use this every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for this channel. And comment if you can. And uh, before you go, there's so much more content. Look at this amazing content for you guys to check out. Do it now. Please? Okay, bye. Go.